DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a 15 minute full body resistance band workout. So for this workout, we're going to go through 15 exercises for just one set each performed in groups of three. Our working time is going to be 30 seconds. Our break time is going to be 15 seconds. And after every third exercise, we'll then take a 30 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we've got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout. Now, our first exercise we're gonna go into is body weight squats. So, feet about shoulder width apart right here, dropping down, coming up. Make sure to keep your weight in your heels and your back nice and straight, chest out. Here we go. So, dropping down, coming up, down, coming up. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Go at your own pace. If you want to put your arms out like I am, that's totally fine. Let's get one more. Oh, we're going into good morning. So slight bend in the knees. We're dropping down. We are bending at the lower back. And then we're coming back up. There we go. If you can't touch your toes, that's totally fine. Oh, just come down as far as you can. Feeling everything stretch out. This will be our last rep here. There we go. We're going to go into alternating hip flexor stretch. So drop down, sink the hips forward, come up, switch side about every five seconds. So we'll do two per side roughly. There we go. Feeling it stretch out. Last one here. All right, standing up. We're going in to chest opener, slight bend in the elbows here. There we go. Opening the chest up, feeling the stretch out as we come across right here, feel the back stretch out. <clears throat> also, you might see Bruce's head poke out at some point right there if you're looking for a little peek of Bruce. Right, we got arm swings forwards and backwards here. There we go. Nice and easy. Last one we're going into is going to be a pool rotate press. So we're gonna start with our hands at our front, pull those elbows up nice and high. Right here, external rotation up, come down, internal rotation back down. Oh, so trying to warm up those rotator cuffs. Oh. Oh, here we go. I'm down one last time. 20 seconds, we're going in to deadlifts. Get some water if you need it. So with deadlifts, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get our feet about shoulder width apart, stand on the bands with both feet. As we drop down, our arms are gonna maintain a position in front of our knees. Here we go. So dropping down, coming up, dropping down, coming up. Notice how I'm not doing this. I'm not bending my lower back. As I drop down, the back is staying straight. I'm a little bit more hinged at the hip. My butt is a little higher. That's okay. It's gonna activate the hamstrings a little more. That's what we're looking for. <clears throat> Here we go. Good controlled reps. There we go. So we're going in to rows left side here. Grab some lighter resistance most likely. Well, at least I am. Depends on the person. So what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna wrap the bands completely around the foot. Right here, and then from here, pulling back with just that left side. Coming back, squeeze. Back should be nice and straight. Right here. There we go. This side. <laughs> There's a older couple behind the camera. Their dog keeps barking. The old gentleman was like, shut up. <laughs> That's hilarious. One more. All right, we're going into rows right side. So switching feet. Here we go. Remember, back stays nice and straight. Here we go. Pulling back to about the hips. Palm is facing towards the leg. There we go. Come back. Squeeze. Squeeze. Here we go. Oh, feel it in the back here. 
Uf. Uf. Oh, come on, one more. Ah, there we go. All right, we got 30 seconds. We're going into RDL. It's going to work those hamstrings a little more. Grab some water if you need it. For anybody who follows our Friday favorites email, that's my uh, <clears throat> uh, container or uh, what you call it, water bottle I was telling you about. It's my favorite one right there. So RDLs, we're going to have slight bend in the knees, feet about 8 to 10 inches apart. We're going to drop down right here, come up. So slight bend in the knees, lock that in place, hinging at the hips, chest stays out, come back up. Every time we bend over, we're going to sink that butt back a little bit. Here we go. So notice my knees aren't bending here. I'm not going like this again. That's the dead. Slipping in the knees here, dropping down, coming back up. Feeling it stretch out in the hamstrings. It's the back of your upper leg. Let's get one more. There we go. We got push-ups or chest press coming up. Push-ups right here, coming down, back up. If you want to do a chest press, take the bands, put them behind you through the armpits, right here, pressing out and up. Just so you know, this is how I hold my bands. So with this way, when I press out and that band begins to extend, the band isn't coming across that skin in between my thumb and index finger, because that can kind of be a pain if you were to hold them more like this, like that. That kind of hurts, so I don't like to do that. I hold on like that. Here we go. Never hurts when it's coming across the palm right there. At least not for me. Oh, let's get one more. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna drop down to the ground. For this next one, we got pike crunches coming up. Let me move this out of the way. So on our backs, feet are gonna be up in the air on this one right here. Hands right here, coming up, back down. It's not a huge range of motion, but we're trying to get the shoulder blades off the ground right here. This isn't the end point. This is the end point. Every time you come up, exhale, squeeze back down. Too tough right here. Try this, still too difficult right here. I'm just kind of going into a crunch if it's still too difficult. There we go. There we go, 30 seconds. We got hex squats coming up. Probably gonna get some quad activation here. So, for hex squat, feet shoulder width apart, standing on our bands. Right here, hands are just gonna remain by the sides the entire time. We're gonna drop down, come back up. Here we go, a couple seconds. I'm just gonna hold on to the bands. Here we go. Now that I have a nice little forearm workout going on. Here we go, dropping down, coming up, not bending the back. Chest is out, head is up. If you struggle with keeping your back straight, I want you to look up somewhere. Try to look up, it's gonna help maintain a straight back. If you look down like this, your back is gonna wanna bend. We don't want that. Here we go. Oh, we got shrugs coming up. So, for shrugs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our feet extra wide on these, eat up those bands. So, feet super wide right here, coming up, back down, up, back down. Notice how I, how I don't have a whole bunch of band on the outside of my feet. There's literally like seven, eight inches, that's it. It's gonna make it much tougher. If it's too tough, bring the feet together, a little, little more of that band out, it's gonna make it a little easier. Here we go. Reverse grip rows. We're gonna do doubles this time. So, wrap the band again, completely around the foot. This way, no matter which way I pull it, it can't go anywhere. From here, sitting straight up, palms up. We're pulling down and back. Down and back. Notice how I kind of start on top of my knees, but when I come back, I'm below my below my legs. Elbows are in. We're not like this. If it's too difficult, you can always alternate. 
Oof. One more. Oof. Here we go. We got sumo squats coming up. We got a 30 second break right here. So sumos. We're gonna get those bands out nice and flat. Then we're gonna grab some water. Wipe a little sweat. Then we're gonna get into it. All right, here we go. So sumos. Stand on the end of your bands. Grab the center right here. So dropping down, coming up. Every time you drop down, try to stretch it out just a little bit further. There we go. Make sure as you're pushing up that your knees don't buckle in. We want those knees staying pushed out. We don't want this. We don't want them to go like that. We don't want that at all. Chest out, head up. Nice straight back. Let's get one more. Here we go. All right, we got pike push-ups, wide push-ups, or incline chest press. Real quick, pike push-up. You're gonna be here. Come down, touch the chin, back up. You can also do a wide push-up, if not incline chest press. So, same setup as original chest press, except this time we're pushing up to our head. So, right here, regular chest press here, incline here. Oh, so it's gonna work the upper chest as well as the shoulders a little more. Oh, we see comments about people's shoulders getting worked on this. That's kind of the nature of it. Your upper chest is right here with the shoulder. So you're gonna feel it. Here we go. We're back on the ground. We got crunch holds this time. So you're gonna have your feet tucked to your butt on this one right here, or you're gonna have the feet up. I like to have mine down, hands behind the head. Right here, come up, hold. Try to hold as long as you can for a max of like 10 seconds. Come back down. Take a big breath, come up. Exhale, squeeze. Try to hold as long as you can. Come back down. Even if you can only hold one second, that's fine. Just try to get there. Squeeze every time you come up. Exhale, contract the abs, squeeze as hard as you got. Come back down. There we go. All right, we got bicep curls, 30 second break. It's time for all the fun muscles, biceps, tries, and shoulders here. So, biceps. We're gonna be right here. I got both feet on my bands coming up down if it's too heavy when you do that drop to one band or drop to one foot if you have multiple bands like i do you can always pull one band out from under your feet here we go coming up and down so what i like to do is stack my bands together i call that the band stack method that way you can kind of pull the bands without having to switch handles so if this were too tough and i kind of right here i still couldn't get it what i could do is pull a band and then go back to the both feet. There you go. Now I've just lightened it a little bit. Still gets a little too heavy. Bring the feet a little closer. There you go. So just stack a couple bands together. That way you can utilize them whenever you need. So overhead tricep extension, dropping one handle on the ground. I'm stepping about 18 inches up the band. From here, thumb goes through the handle. We step through, come up and around. So I'm pretty much holding on to it with my thumbs here. Just like that. I'm enough. Elbows stay nice and high. There we go. If you feel it rubbing your back or butt a little too much, you can always step out. Just make sure that that back heel doesn't come up. That back heel has to remain down. If not, the bands might come out. Oh. Last one. There we go. So, shoulder press right here. I'm going to use the band stack method. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my blue band, hold it in the air. The black band, I'm gonna drop down onto a knee on. Make sure it's about even right here. Then we're gonna press up, palms face away, elbows slightly in front of the shoulders here. Here we go. I would say if you're probably like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, or taller, dropping to a knee like I am is recommended so you don't overstretch your bands. 
you're shorter, you might be able to stand, but you are gonna stretch that band out pretty good. It's gonna be close to its max length. One more. Oh yeah, there we go. Woo, nice little pump going on. Some sweat happening. There we go. Good work today. Nice little 15 minute. -er. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Great workout today. If you did enjoy, be sure smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.